Welcome to Tackle Fanatics TV. And in this episode of TFTV, ESP's Dave Elliott takes a look at their pre-tied Chodrig range. The Chodrig has become one of the most effective and popular presentations in carp fishing over recent years. In case you don't know, Chod is carp fishing slang for a soft, very silty lake bed that can be difficult to fish over with conventional rigs and lead setups. However, with a Chod rig, the angler can cast out just about anywhere, maybe into weed or to a showing fish, and when that lead lands, you can be safe in the knowledge that the rig is fishing effectively, offering excellent anti-eject and hook holding properties. However, for a Chod rig to work at its most effective, it has to be tied properly. So to make life easier, ESP has come up with a range of ready-made chod rigs tied in exactly the same way Terry Hearn ties his own. As you can see, there's three rigs per pack and they're available in four different hook sizes. Size four and five tied to 20 pound bristle filament and six and seven tied to 15 pound. We've designed the, cut, the car to set and retain the perfect curve. So when you take one out of the packet, it's ready to use. Now here's a rig that I've taken out of the packaging. Starting with the ultra sharp Mark II stiff rigger hook, which are Teflon coated, heavily forged, they're very strong. And with the outturned eye, they are the perfect pattern to use with a stiff material like the bristle filament. Now the hook's tied to the bristle filament using the snail whipping knot. Now this knot is much more difficult to tie than a standard knotless knot, but the end result is much more effective. What you get is with this snail knot is both ends exit the back knot barrel in line with the shank of the hook. So the back of the shank, you've got the D there, one tag end, um, is in line with the back of the shank. And then the other end that forms the hooks, the uh, swivel section, comes out of the eye again in line with the back of the shank. So it's, if you look at that, it's all in one plane and that makes for a much neater, tidier setup. The hook's not set off at an angle that you sometimes get with a knotless knot and we just think it makes for a more effective hooking arrangement. Also, the knot is just looks so much neater than a, than a knotless knot. And this bristle filament is very, very stiff, so it makes it difficult for the fish to eject once it's picked it up, because it, it, it won't sort of collapse on itself, it's very, very stiff. And it also, because of this stiffness, it helps to set the perfect curve, and I'll show you why that's so important in a minute. On the end of the rig, you've got a micro-engineered Japanese Unilink swivel. Now the, the advantage with these swivels for this rig is that they spin very freely. This is where the curve comes in. Whenever a fish closes its mouth around the bait, touches that curve, the free running nature of the, or the free spinning nature of the swivel immediately makes the hook spin round and catch in the bottom lip. So you can see every time you touch that, that curve on the bristle filament, the hook just spins round with the aid of the free running swivel and catches in the bottom lip. So there you go, that's, that's the finished rig, ready to go. So now I'll show you how to use the chod rigs on our ready tied lead core leaders. This is the ESP helicopter rigs, ready tied lead core leaders um, that are designed to use the lead on the end in the traditional helicopter rig setup. Now to use one of the ESP chod rigs on this leader, all you have to do is remove the top rubber bead and then slide off the big eye swivel, put that back in your tackle box, slide the chod rig on and then replace the top rubber bead and then simply tie the leader to your main line using a five turn grin knot through the splice loop. So once you've done that, this is what it looks like. So there's a ready tied lead core leader with the chod rig running up the lead core. Now I've used a small lead, about one and a half ounces. You on a chod rig, you only really need a, a big enough lead for the distance you're casting. It's more the weight of the lead core that helps to hook the fish. And the bottom bead, I've set a little bit up from the, uh, from the lead so that the hook point can't come into contact with the bottom of the lead. So you don't want on the cast the hook to get caught up underneath the lead, stuck in the plastic coating will obviously uh, be a disaster. So um, I've set the bead a bit further up the leader. Now where you place the top bead is largely down to personal preference. Some anglers prefer to have the two beads close together with the uh, rig semi-fixed between them. You might choose to do this if you're fishing on quite a small tight spot and the lead's landing on the far side of the spot 
with the rig settling down in the middle. Or if you're fishing over weed or deep silt, you may choose to put the bead much further up the leader so it's a, um, not quite so important exactly where the hook bait lands in relation to the lead core leader. But what generally happens is on impact with the water, the hook bait and the, rig, the chod rig will be pushed up against that top bead and then under the weight of the lead core will settle down and finish up landing near that top bead. Now what is important with, these, with this rig is that you use a very buoyant hook bait. I prefer to use cork ball pop-ups tied on with the um, ESP Superfloss. Incidentally, there's actually a video on how to use a Superfloss uh, to tie pop-ups to chod rigs on the ESP website. Um, but yeah, that, that's the, the cork ball pop-ups generally best because you want the hook to be set up at that aggressive angle for the period of time that it's out in the water. So there you go, that's the, the, the classic chod rig. It's accounted for thousands of big carp now available ready tied and when combined with the ready tied lead core leaders it means you can spend more time fishing and less time tying rigs. Many thanks for tuning into this episode of TFTV. Tackle Fanatics offer extensive range of ESP tackle at the best prices in the UK. We also have a vast range of pre-tied rigs including a vast selection of chod rigs. To view our extensive range log on to www.tacklefanatics.co.uk Tight lines and wet nets from everybody at TFTV.